ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಮಿತ್ರರೇ ನಾವು ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಪಿ ವೈ ಕಿ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ದಿನ ನೋಡೋಣ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ವೇಶನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ನ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಏನಿದೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಗಾಗಿ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರುವಂತ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಗಾಗಿ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರುವಂತ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಯಾವ್ದಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನ ನೋಡೋಣ ಅದಕ್ಕಿಂತಲೂ ಮುಂಚೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತೀನಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಹತ್ರ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಟೈಮ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಡಿ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ ಆಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿರುವಂತ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಯಾವ ತರದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಗೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅವು ಯಾವುದು ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇದೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀನಿ ಆ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಅವುಗಳನ್ನ ನೀವು ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ ಆಗಿ ರಿವಿಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಗೆ ರೆಡಿ ಆಗಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ನಾವು ಏನ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಮಾಡೋದಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಿ ತೋರಿಸೋಣ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಟಿಮ್ ಟಿಮ್ ಮಾಡೋದಿದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ರಿವಿಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಹೆದರ್ಬೇಕಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಪ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಳೋದೇ ಬೇಕಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಬನ್ನಿ ನೋಡೋಣ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ತರದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಆಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ವಲ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಹಳೆ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನೋಡೋಣ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ತರದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಗಳು ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನೇ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ನಾನು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಫಿಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಬ್ಲಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಗಾಗಿ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಗಳು ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ತ್ರೀ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಗಳು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಡಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಅವರ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೋಡೋದಿದೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಬಯೋ ವಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫಾಲೋವಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಯಾವ ಕಂಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಇವರು ಕೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ದ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಕಂಟೈನಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಬ್ರಾಜಿಲ್ ಕೊಲಂಬಿಯಾ ಇಕ್ವೆಡೋರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸೌತ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕಾ ಸೊ ಸೌತ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಇವನ್ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಅಮೆಜಾನ್ ರೇನ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕೂಡ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಮೆಜಾನ್ ರೇನ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ರೇನ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇದು ಕೂಡ ಸೌತ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕಾದಲ್ಲೇ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ನೈನ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೌತ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕಾ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಮೆಜಾನ್ ರೇನ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದಿ ಬ್ರಾಜಿಲ್ ಸೊ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ನಮಗೆ ಸೌತ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೌತ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕಾ ಆರ್ ಅಮೆಜಾನ್ ರೇನ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇದು ಲಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಅಂತನು ಕೂಡ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಇಟ್ ದೇ ಲಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ because it it will produces almost 20% of oxygen which is required for the planet earth among that 20% of oxygen comes from this forest only so option number 1 is the correct answer which of the following is not a cause of loss of biodiversity loss of biodiversity ke idralli yavudu cause alla ante kelthidare destruction of habitat seri ide fragmentation and habitat destruction and therapy invasion invasion of alien species idu kuda correct ide keeping animals in zoological park illa idu antu ex situ conservation aitala idu habitat destruction alla idu biodiversity loss problem alla it is a type of conservation idanna ex situ conservation anta helthivi it is a ex situ conservation aitu so idu alla over exploitation that is over hunting anta helthivi idu kuda correct ide illi not correct ade option number c aagta ittu which of the following is not a invasive alien species invasive alien species andre introduced from the other native other countries they are non native species antu helti alien species are nothing but
whenever there is a nitrogen deficient they uh, feeds on insect so nitrogen soil alli nitrogen deficiency yavagirutte especially if there is a heavy rain area okay heavy rain malegala pade pade aagta idre alli due to the rain water wash off wash out in the rain water flow aagta idre ala continuous rain water flow aagta idre alli iruvanta mineral nutrition galu wash out aagi hogutte okay so heavy rain areas alli idu irutte heavy rain areas so heavy rain areas adalli namage pitcher plant sigutte yavud irutte nodi illi that is uh, western ghat kintalu north eastern himalayan region idiyala north eastern region ide alli jaasti male agutte so we will find maximum pitcher plants in this region only western ghat alli sigutte but idikkinta compare madre namage uh, north eastern region alle hechige sigutte which one of the following is not a major characteristic feature of biodiversity hotspot large number of species iruttali abundance of endemic species irutte mostly located in the tropics idu kuda correct maximum hotspot tropical region alle ide mostly located in the polar region idella idu tappu so option number d is the correct answer match the animals given in the column 1 and their location in the column 2 dodo it is extinct species from the mauritius means last species was in the mauritius now it is extinct all these are the extinct species there quagga it is from the africa thylacine from the australia tiller sea cow from the russia so yen aagta ide nodi illi a3 ide okay a3 then b1 c4 d2 so option number ಡಿಲಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ನೆಪ್ಯಾಂಥಸ್ ಸೈಲೋಟಮ್ ರಾವಲ್ಫಿಯಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಕೋನಿಟಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ನೆಪ್ಯಾಂಥಸ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೈಲೋಟಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಟೆರ್ಡೋಫೈಟ್ ಇದೆ ರಾವಲ್ಫಿಯಾ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ರಿಸರ್ಪೈನ್ ಅಲ್ಕಲಾಯ್ಡ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಗೆ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ so what are these all these are the prone to the exploitation over exploitation aagta idiyala hge forest trees ana cut maartidare avugalige ivu prone aagta ide because mostly these are grown in the thick forest areas so uh, all are prone to the over exploitation ee option idiyala adu correct agide option number c is the correct answer here the one horned rhinoceros is specific to which of the following sanctuary ನಾರ್ತ್ ಈಸ್ಟ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಗೆ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಕಾಜಿರಂಗ ವೈಲ್ಡ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಚುರಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಗೆ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಕಾಜಿರಂಗ ವೈಲ್ಡ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಚುರಿ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಕಾಜಿರಂಗ ವೈಲ್ಡ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಚುರಿ ದೇರ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ರೀನೋಸರಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ amongst the animal group given below which one appears to be more vulnerable to extinct among the animal groups amphibians are more vulnerable to extinct amphibians jasti extinct irutagutte ente kandre they strictly required water for reproduction they strictly strictly require water for reproduction and survive in a terrestrial land and survive in terrestrial habitat but due to the problem of global warming okay problem en aagta ide problem of global warming due to the problem of global warming these are entering into the extinct condition aste alla these are the cold blood cold blooded ide high temperature anna adu control maadkolik agodilla extreme high temperature alli survive agodilla so amphibians are more vulnerable to extinct which of the following is an endangered plant species of india endangered plant rawalpia serpentina endangered ide tantala malbum is also endangered cycas bedoni is also endangered so option number d idella adu correct agide next what is common to lantana icornia and african catfish 
ಈ ಎಲ್ಲದರಲ್ಲೂ ಏನ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಇದೆ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಏಲಿಯನ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ದಿ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಏಲಿಯನ್ ಇನ್ವ್ಯಾಜಿವ್ ಫೇಸಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾನ್ ನೇಟಿವ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ನಾನ್ ನೇಟಿವ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಯಾವ್ದಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನೋಡಿ ಎಂಡೇಂಜರ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಕೀ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಮ್ಯಾಮಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಡಿ ನೋಡಿ ಆಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೈದರ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಟರ್ಡ್ ನಾರ್ ಇಂಡಿಜಿನಸ್ ಇವು ಇಂಡಿಜಿನಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾನ್ ನೇಟಿವ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಇದು ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಡಿ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಯಾಸೆಂಜರ್ ಪಿಜನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಪ್ಯಾಸೆಂಜರ್ ಪಿಜನ್ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಯಾಸೆಂಜರ್ ಪಿಜನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕಾ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದಿ ಅಮೆರಿಕಾ ಯುನೈಟೆಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಹುದು ಎಂತಕ್ಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಟ್ ಆಯ್ತಿದ್ದು ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದಿ ಓವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲಾಟೇಷನ್ ಯಾ ಓವರ್ ಹಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ಹಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಓವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲಾಟೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಹುದು ಏನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಓವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲಾಟೇಷನ್ ಬೈ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫಾಲೋವಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಪಾರ್ಥಿನೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಂಡೆಮಿಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಏಲಿಯನ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸಿಸ್ ಇದೆ ಆಫ್ರಿಕನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ ಫಿಶ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಟು ದಿ ಇಂಡಿಜಿನಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಥ್ರೀ ಟು ದಿ ಇಂಡಿಜಿನಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸ್ ಪಿಲಾರ್ ಸಿ ಕವ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಟ್ ಅನಿಮಲ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದಿ ರಷ್ಯಾ ಇದು ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇದೆ ಲಾಂಟಾನ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ನೌನ್ ಆಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೋಟ್ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಲಾಂಟಾನ ಅಲ್ಲ ಯಾವುದು ಪಾರ್ಥಿಯೇನಿಯಂ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ನೌನ್ ಆಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೋಟ್ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಅಮಂಗ್ ದಿ ಇಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಬಿಲೋ ವೇರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಒನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ನಮಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಕೊರಾಲ್ ರೀಫ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇವನ್ ಇನ್ ಟ್ರಾಪಿಕಲ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಟ್ರಾಪಿಕಲ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ದಿ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಯೋಮಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕೊರಾಲ್ ರೀಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟ್ರಾಪಿಕಲ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫಾಲೋವಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೌನ್ ಆಸ್ ಲಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಮೆಜಾನ್ ರೈನ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ is known as the lungs of planet earth because it produces 20% of oxygen released during the photosynthesis by planet earth next the active chemical drug reserpine is obtained from the plant rawalfia okay rawalfia plant in the active chemical drug reserpine use martare and it is reserpine is used as a drug of mads used as drug of mads huchara aushadi anta heltivi entake kelobru bhrama nirasara agirtare schizophrenia problem irutte kelobrige tamashta ki taave maatadu tamma gungalle irodu bhrama nirasaru anta heltivi anta dis anta problems anna treat madlike reserpine use madlogutte and it is extracted from the plant rawalfia omitoria a rawalfia serpentina anta heltivi which of the following group exhibit more species diversity yavudralli ati hechu species diversity irutte that is among these all these are the plant kingdom plantae ge belong agutte but plantae kintalu hechige species diversity you will get in the fungi specially okay amma you ella kintalu hechige species diversity nimage fungi alli nodlik sigutte which of the following mentioned reason exhibit less seasonal variation less seasonal variation is the characteristics of tropical regions so because of that have maximum diversity because of that only they have maximum diversity next the historic convention on biological diversity held in rio de janeiro in the 1992 is known as it is a earth summit anta heltivi then 2002 ಟೂ ದಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗಿತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸಮಿತ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸಮಿತ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೌತ್ ಆಫ್ರಿಕಾ ಜೋಹಾನ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ಗ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಟ್ರೋ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಕ್ರಯೋ ಪ್ರಿಸರ್ವೇಶನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟಿಶ
ಫಿಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಬ್ಲಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಇವು ಕೂಡ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಟೋಟಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಐದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಕೇಳಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಬಯಾಲಜಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೋಡೋಣ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಸೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಮರ್ಷಿಯಲಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಕೆಪ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸೀಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಡ್ತಾರೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನಾನು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಫಿಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀನಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಸೊ ಫಿಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬ್ಲಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಫಿಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀನಿ ನೀವು ಒಂದ್ಸಲ ಇದನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಯು ಎ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ದ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿಗಲ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಫ್ರಿಕನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ ಫಿಶ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಯಾಸ್ ಗಾರಿಯಪಿನಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಕ್ವಾ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಪೋಸಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಥ್ರೀಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಇಂಡಿಜಿನಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ ಫಿಶ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದ ನೈಲ್ ಪರ್ಚ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಲೇಕ್ ವಿಕ್ಟೋರಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಈಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ರಿಕಾ ಲೆಡ್ ಇವೆಂಚುವಲಿ ಟು ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕಾಲಜಿಕಲಿ ಯುನಿಕ್ ಅಸೆಂಬ್ಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಕ್ಲಿಡ್ ಫಿಶ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಲೇಕ್ ಯಾವುದು ಲೇಕ್ ವಿಕ್ಟೋರಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಈಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ರಿಕಾ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಫಿಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಬ್ಲಾಂಕ್ ಏನಿದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬಿಲಿಯನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದ ಓರಿಜಿನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಆನ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ದೇರ್ ವೇರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಏನ್ ನಡೆದಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಹುದು ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಜರ್ ದನ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಟು ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಜರ್ ದನ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಷನ್ then the colonization of tropical pacific islands by human is said to have led to the extinction of more than 2000 species of native birds david tillman found that plots with more species showed the less year to year variation in the total biomass for many decades ecologists believed that communities with more species generally tend to be more stable than those with less species if we analyze the species area relationship among very large areas like entire continents we find the slope line slope of the line to be much steeper aagta hogutalle in the species relationship it was given by alexander von humboldt next the tropical environment unlike temperate ones are less seasonal relatively more constant and predictable scientists estimate that in the rain forest there might be at least 2 million insect species waiting to be discovered and named especially it is in amazon rain forest kate ide idu next adding to the grim scenario of extinction in the fact that more than 15500 species worldwide are facing the three top extinction besides total loss the degradation of many habitats by pollution also threatens the survival of many species presently many fish populations are around the world are over harvested and endangering the continued existence of some commercially important species in general species diversity decreases as we move away from the equator towards the poles if we accept robert may's global estimates only 22% of the total species have been recorded so far idu fill in the blanks ide matte whatever the fill in the blanks i given all these are directly from your textbook only adakkagi board exam ge athwa neat exam prepare aagbekandre line to line ncrt athwa nimma textbook idella adanna nodkolli idde itaradu question baruthe line to line you perfect aagta hobeku ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ ವೆರಿ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಡೋಣ ವೆರಿ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇದೆ ನೋಡಿ ವಾಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಕ್ಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ ದಿ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಸ್ಟೇಬಲ್ ಯಾವ ಕ್ಯಾಕ್ಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಅನ್ನ ಸ್ಟೇಬಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಬಲ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಆಗಿ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಸಮ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಕ್ಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ನೋಡಿ ಒಂದು ಹೈ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ದ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಒಂದಿದೆ ಹೈ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್
year to year variation the next in one point is a high resilience high resilience astella low alien species invasion low alien species invasion so these are the some important characteristics makes the community stable next nodi idralli idu very short answer type questions ide yavadadru ellu point illi baradre salku okay question number 2 nodi what could have triggered mass extinction of species in the past past alli present alli anthropogenic causes in the mass extinction aagta ide but in past alli okay what are the problems which caused the mass extinction so main nodi one do natural disturbance one is a natural disturbance natural disturbance in the mass extinction agide astella one more reason is that is about the meteorite hit to the earth meteorite andre kshudra grahagalu okay meteorite hit meteorite hit idella so it is also results in the mass extinction Uh, usually, when the andaz hell are with the dinosaurs extinct, they will come. Boshay, all that one, that shudder grah, that one meteorite, apparition, apparition, both the bhumi ke, adhikagi dinosaurs go extinct, they get both the one that hell are with. As tella natural disturbances like uh, uh, earthquake agli, or the volcanoes agli, extreme heavy flood ag bodo, heavy rain ag bodo, that also causes the problem to pro um, that also causes the mass extinction. ये रीति अंदाज मार लागू थे। Then next question number three नोडी What account for the greater logical diversity, greater ecological diversity of India? India दली अति हेतु ecological diversity ये लिखे कारण है नो अंते अति दारे नोडी India it is uh, India ये अल्ला India near to equator near to equator इधे then अस्ते अल्ला इल्ली you can get the rain uh, rainy forest Rainy and deciduous forest. ये दो तरह दूसरी होते हैं. Rainy and deciduous forest. In India, you will get the rainy forest and deciduous forest also. Even uh, you will get the uh, marine area. Marine area नो सी होते हैं. Even desert कोड़ा सी होते हैं. And here, as it is maximum part of the India, it is belongs to the tropical and subtropical. tropical and subtropical regions ke barutte so because of that india having the greater ecological diversity question number 4 nodi according to david tilman greater diversity greater is the primary productivity can you think of very low diversity man made ecosystem that has high productivity man made ecosystem ide alla it contains a high means ali in man made ecosystem best take example of agriculture ecosystem agriculture ecosystem is a man made ecosystem where the biodiversity is very less but even though productivity is high why because ali net primary productivity is very high but overall gross productivity is less in agriculture example nodi one example kot nan explain martta idini example in agriculture ecosystem in agriculture in agriculture ecosystem or agriculture field npp is high that is a net primary productivity is high agirutte and the human being by adding the additional fertilizers overall net productivity hatch madlikke try maartirtare npp is high but gpp gross primary productivity is low ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಲೋ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಲೋ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಲೋ ಸೊ ಇದಾಗಿದೆ ದೆನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೈವ್ ನೋಡಿ ವಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಐ ಯು ಸಿ ಎನ್ ರೆಡ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ರೆಡ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಇದು ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ so here red means it is a extinct species anta helabodu it is a extinct species in the red data book of iucn the are red in the red list the red is nothing but it is a extinct species question number 6 nodi explain as how protection of biodiversity hotspot alone can reduce up to the 
थर्टी पर्सेंट आफ करेन्ट रेट आफ स्पीसी एक्सटिंशन ऐन क्वेश्चन केल्तर बयोडवर्सिटी हाटस्पाट हे अरउंड करे स्पीसी पर्सेंट स्पीसी एक्सटिंशन हे रिड्यूस बयोडवर्सिटी हाटस्पाट अंत क्या सो इन दिस हेंगे नो बयोडवर्सिटी हाटस्पाट यूशली दीज बयोडवर्सिटी हाटस्पाट मेनली कंटेन आर् मेनली कंटेन दि एंडमिक स्पीसी and the biodiversity are the reasons where almost 70% of 70% of primary species of that area primary species of that area of that area were extinct primary species of that area were extinct primary species of that were that area were extinct and which contains endemic species so at least the remaining current species of about 30% species can be protected or can be conserved with the help of these biodiversity hotspots uh next question nodi what is the difference between endemic and exotic species endemic they are restricted to particular area these are restricted to particular area these are restricted to particular area and exotic species are nothing but they are the aliens alien species non native species they are introduced in an area not belongs to that particular area means somewhere from somewhere else they are introduced to a particular area okay exotic species are nothing but they are the alien species ant helbodu next how does species diversity differ from ecological diversity illu barita idini nodi nanu illu solpa jaga ide okay species diversity matte ecological diversity en nodi species diversity ide alla species diversity is nothing but it is the diversity of species and their varieties the diversity of diversity of species and their varieties and their varieties which are able to interbreed which are able to interbreed example lodi mammalian diversity insect diversity diversity of tigers diversity of elephants di diversity of birds ee rithi helbodu ecological diversity andre enu ecological diversity ecological diversity is nothing but usually ecosystem diversity ant helthivi the various different types of ecosystem various types of ecosystems various types of ecosystem that we can say it is ecological diversity anta heltivi uh, example nodi in a particular given large landscape or if you consider india in india indian geographical region alli you will get the marine ecosystem marine ecosystem sigutte then forest ecosystem desert ecosystem river ecosystem etc so ee rithi bere bere ecosystem sigutte so that we can say it is ecological diversity anta heltivi ah idu aitu question number 9 nodi what is genetic variation uh, sorry why is genetic variation important in plant ravalfia omitoria genetic variation entak important ide ondu idr importance nodi for genetic ravalfia omitoria as there is a different genetic varieties will develops in the course of evolution then ultimately how it is useful the plants these are these ravalfia plants they are restricted to the himalayan forest naturally they are restricted to himalayan forest if there is a lot of genetic variants will develops in that then ultimately the plant can be grown in anywhere plant can grow in various ecosystem grown in various ecosystem 
plant can be grown in various ecosystem and maximum these rawal pias plants are important for its alkaloid reserpine which is used to treat the mentally ill peoples mad peoples anta helthivi huchara treatment gagi idanna balastare schizophrenia brahma nirasara jana irtarala avara treatment gagi reserpine chemicals anna use maartare which is extracted from the root of rawalpio vomitoria so maximum alkaloid maximum alkaloid extraction maadabodu extraction maadabodu so that's the benefit question number 10 nodi what is red data book red data book is a international book it is a internationally published book it is a internationally published book internationally published book by the iucn okay uh, contains a list of endangered and threatened species contains contains a list of a list of extinct and threatened species anta helbodu extinct and threatened species extinct and threatened species next question number 11 nodi question number 11 define gene pool gene pools are nothing but a group of organisms and their different varieties of a same species group of organisms group of organisms and their varieties and their varieties of same species of same species able to interbreed they are known as gene pool of that particular species anta helthivi in a given area what does the term frugivorous means frugivorous andre en nodi frugivorous are nothing but these are the fruit eating organisms fruit eating organisms anta helthivi frugivorous organisms or frugivorous animals nothing but fruit eating organisms best example ide monkey or bat frugivorous bat anta helthivi athwa monkey they are the example question number 13 nodi what is the expanded form of iucn iucn expanded form en ide nodi illi barita idina nanu question number 13 gagi illi bariyona question number 13 international union international union for conservation of conservation of nature and natural resources nature and natural resources so that we can say iucn then question number 14 nodi uh, define bio prospecting and endemism next page will bariyona idanna question number 14 bio prospecting and endemism anta kelthidare bio prospecting enide nodi bio prospecting bio prospecting is nothing but it is investigation of organisms for commercial purpose investigation investigation of organisms for commercial commercial purpose a commercial marketing so that we can say it is a bio uh, prospecting anta helthivi innondu endemism anta kelidare endemism so endemism andre en nodi a particular species restricted to a geographical area a species species restricted to a particular geographical area to a particular geographical area
So such species are known as endemic species or the condition is known as endemism. Example, nodi, kangaroo in Australia or king cobra in the western Ghat belt, white tiger in the Bengal region. So they are the endemic species. So this is question number 14. Next note on allow. What is common to the species shown in the figure A and B? Ili A mate B species idela. Both these are the key species. Both these are the key species. Yardu key species ide. And in these key species, uh, how these are useful? Even though their number is very less, but they are play important role to maintain the biodiversity. Even though even though the number, even though the number is very less, even though the number is very less, but important to, but they are important to conserve or maintain biodiversity. Important to maintain biodiversity. So, the end similarity there, both they are the key species there. Okay. Short answer type questions really. Nodi. How is presently occurring species extinction different? Present occurring species extinction is different from the earlier mass extinction. Presently occurring species extinction is due to the man-made activity or anthropogenic activity. Presently occurring species, present species extinction, present species extinction is the other. present species extinction due to anthropogenic activity or man-made activity, anthropogenic activity, present extinction of species due to the anthropogenic activity and Earlier mass extinction. Earlier mass extinction. Mass extinction due to uh, natural disturbance. Due to natural disturbance. Due to natural disturbances or meteorite hit to the planet Earth. The next question number two, Nodi, of the four major causes for the loss of biodiversity. If you have a short answer type, then the at least added point. This one point will add that is the present extinction. Present uh, extinction of species is very faster compared to the earlier mass extinction. Compared to the earlier mass extinction, the present rate of extinction is 100 to 1000 times greater. And it is predicted that earlier, the five episodes of mass extinction, mass extinction were occurred on this planet Earth. Then, next question, Nodi. Of the four major causes of the loss of biodiversity, alien species invasion, one do I to, habitat loss and fragmentation, yellow do I to, over exploitation, more uh, over exploitation and co extinction. And co extinction. So, for, uh, for right. according to you, is the major cause of the loss of biodiversity? Which is the major cause of loss of biodiversity? Give reason in support. In all, the alien species invasion, habitat loss and fragmentation, over exploitation, and one more is co extinction. In all, the cause of the major, which is the major cause for the species extinction? Major cause for the species extinction is habitat loss, habitat loss and fragmentation. Habitat loss and fragmentation. Why it is the major cause, Nodi? Is it the major cause? Is because, uh, best example, we can take the example of Amazon rainforest. In the Amazon rainforest, the thick forest were cut by their farmers. Nearby farmers or tribal people, they are cutting the forest to increase the grassland 
to graze their cattle, dairy farm cattle. Alli a cattle's garna grazing mud like a forest and a cut muddy other than a grassland I convert Marti there. Astella to grow the soya bean crop. They, they thought that with the soya bean they are getting more and more profit. So the farmers cutting the forest to grow the soya bean crop and also converting forest land into a grassland to graze their dairy animals, yeah, dairy cattle. So, what is it? The forest is cut off the habitat. The wild animals are cut off the habitat loss and forest is cut off the That is the fragmentation. So, because of that, the many rare and endangered or endemic species, they are facing the threat of extinction. So, therefore, the habitat loss and fragmentation is the main cause. Next question, Nodi. Discuss one example based on your day-to-day -day observations showing how loss of one species may lead to the extinction of another. Now, my daily life, in my personal experience, prakara, uh, one species extinct, other unknown species hang extinct, that is how we explain it. So, how it is possible? Consider if there is a in uh, pollination causing insect was extinct. You know, the pollinating insect. If the pollinating insect is extinct, then ultimately the plant which is depend particularly on that insect will also get uh, extinct. You know, the only pollination mode one the insect extinct are insect mele depend on the plant is the extinct. So that the uh, that the way okay in that way if any particular means that dependent species is there if they are co-evolved species is there if any one species get extinct then easily another species will also get extinct so that we can say it is a co-extinction and then kuda health tv question number four nodi a species area uh, curve is drawn by plotting the number of species against the area how is it that when a very large area is considered the slope is steeper than that of the smaller area? Okay, large area considered at least slope curve or slope is more steeper than theater. This species area relationship was given by Alexander von Humboldt by surveying the South American jungles. Atho South American forest and a survey maadi Alexander Von Humboldt he given the perfect species area relationship and according to him as the area will goes on increases as the area will goes on increases the species richness will also goes on increases up to a certain limit as the area will goes on increases species richness will also goes on increases up to a certain limit so therefore we can say elena with nodi but if the area will goes on decreases species richness will also goes on decreases if we consider idu graph borthele species uh, uh, richness and area wise so usually if the, if you consider the logarithmic scale the graph will be like this graph here it is but if the area will goes on increases that is a uh, regression coefficient value goes on increases okay a z value on 30 area will goes on increases then ultimately this line will be more steeper means if there is a more area the diversity will goes on increases area has the diversity increase if there will be more diversity it's a diversity other if there will be a more diversity then ultimately what happens if there is a more diversity, more uh, there will be a more stability, less year to year variation. Stability has to year to year variation. They will get the more resilience to the natural invasions or alien species invasions. So, this line is steeper. So, that's about the answer for this one. The next question number five Nodi uh, Is it possible that productivity and diversity of natural community remain constant over a time period say 100 year to reach the climax community during the succession it may takes millions of year to reach 
to reach climax community to reach the climax community it takes it takes millions of years millions of years to reach the climax community it takes millions of years so yena agutte if it takes millions of year then ultimately uh, during this succession period of natural community diversity of natural community 100 year is a very less time period in front of this one during this if the natural succession is occurring then if there is a uh, means community with a natural means natural change a naturally succession aagta idre then within a 100 there will be a no any recognizable change in the productivity and diversity of natural community in such cases yena agutte no recognizable changes no recognize recognizing no recognizable no recognizable changes in the productivity and diversity of natural ecosystem within a 100 year if there is a naturally succession occurring then there is greater biodiversity in the tropical and subtropical regions than in the temperate region explain tropical and subtropical regions they have uh, high sun, light intensity light intensity illi hechide they have more light intensity then next to that there is a uh, less seasonal variation less seasonal variation then predictable ecosystem or seasons predictable seasons then warm temperature and maximum period for the evolution so because of these reasons uh, there is a diversity in the tropical and subtropical regions are remains high than the uh, we can say temperate region and uh, in the tropical and subtropical regions plant diversity is very high the animals which depends on the plant their population is ulti ultimately it is very high question number 7 nodi why are the conventional method not suitable for the assessment of biodiversity of bacteria conventional method entake suitable illa vandu uh, usually these biodiversity microscopic organisms whatever the present conventional taxonomical methods in that it is very difficult to study these microorganisms vandu entake nodi many microbes are not culturable avugalna proper agi culture maadlikke agodilla Bacteria, many bacteria, yellow, all, many bacteria, okay. Many bacteria, many bacteria, not possible to culture on a nutrient medium. Not possible to culture on medium, nutrient medium. Many bacteria are not possible to culture on a nutrient medium. Astella, the next is uh, uh, still their life cycle is unknown. Many bacteria. Still, life cycle of many bacteria. Life cycle of many bacteria. Many bacteria unknown. So, because and not only that, what about their habitat? What about their habits? Some general habits. All these features are unknown for us. So, therefore, the, whatever the present conventional taxonomical methods are not suitable for the study, study of biodiversity of bacteria. Question number 8, Nodi. What criteria should one use in the categorizing species as a three-turned? Three-turned species and the categorize maadbe kaadre. Yava category criteria on the follow maadbe ko. Na nil bari ta idini. Question number eight nodi. Uh, to consider the three-turned species. Okay. Three-turned species. 
In the three ten species, the three groups of organisms will comes. Idhali more group of organisms borate. Yaad borat nodi one do critically endangered, critically endangered species. Then second one is a endangered, endangered, and third one is a vulnerable species. third one is vulnerable so these are the three group of species comes under this uh, three trend species category then what are the criteria follow to consider that the particular species is three trend yav criteria follow martar nodi one do uh, in which geographical location it is situated ja on the geographical location ja geographical population a geographically other population est ide okay geographical population the next species richness test is what is the species richness then whether it is endemic or not adu nottare endemism or endemic species or not adu consider madalagutte then uh, what are the problems they are facing problems facing and even the reproductive ability on the basis of that or increase in the population or population growth anta consider madona population growth est aagta ide population growth rate yen ide on the basis of that the species were recognized as threatened uh next idai to vulnerable क्वेश्चन नंबर रिप्रोडक्शन दिन रीजन अस्टेल दि कॉम्प्लेक्स रीप्रोडक्टिव क्यार्टर्स Reproductive character complex side is there because strictly over like water is big, water is a medium. Then, but main problem is nowadays these are more vulnerable because of the habitat loss and fragmentation. Iga over like strictly water body big. If there is no water body, water body because of habitat loss or the fragmentation due to the man-made activities, a water body ne alinda maya akta idre ki amphibians ko extinct target ke shuru hogte. Global warming, water bodies uh, due to the global warming. due to the excess uh, again and again drought condition due to the natural calamities due to the deforestation ali number of water bodies kadime aagta ide then amphibians they are facing the problem of extinction they are more vulnerable for the extinction ee riti helabodu okay the next question number 10 nodi how do scientists extrapolate the total number of species on earth Total number of species Earth mele yesti the anta scientist hang extrapolate matar nodi question number ten na will nodo na I think where it is here ha question number ten nodi first what they will means uh, to extrapolate the total number of species on Earth first step is uh, study the exhaustively cons consider exhaustively studied insect consider uh, means maximally studied insect consider maximally or exhaustively maximally studied insect studied insect then compare its population with other insect compare its population or its number with other related insect other related insect where in tropic in tropical region then compare their population uh, compare the population of tropical uh, trop this tropical insect with subtropical compare their number compare their number in tropical and subtropical tropical and subtropical 
ಟ್ರಾಪಿಕಲ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಬ್ ಟ್ರಾಪಿಕಲ್ ಅವುಗಳ ನಂಬರ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಅದು ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ಗೆ ದೆನ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಆನ್ ವಿತ್ ದೀಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಪೊಲೇಟ್ ದಿ ಟೋಟಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಮೇನಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಪೊಲೇಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಒಂದು ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅದರ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಇಂದ ಟ್ರಾಪಿಕಲ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ನೋಡೋದು ಅದರ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಬೇರೆ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಟ್ರಾಪಿಕಲ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಬ್ ಟ್ರಾಪಿಕಲ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ವೇರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇದೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಓವರ್ ಆಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಅಂತ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಡೋದು so that we can say in this way usually scientist will extrapolate the number of species on the earth anta helthivi the next uh, how many extrapolate question number 11 nodi human benefit from the diversity of life human benefits from diversity of life given two examples usually these biodiversity are uh, very much useful to the human being in the two ways one the one is narrow utilitarian reason narrow utilitarians and uh, broad utilitarians narrow utilitarians yavu ide nodi narrow benefits from the biodiversity to the human being one do uh, we get the alkaloids medicines or we can say raw materials for the various products or we get the direct food sources we can get the firewood we can get the uh, wood for to construction purpose like house and other purpose construction purpose we get the direct sources from the forest only or from the biodiversity the next is uh, these are the narrow reasons broad uses one is we get the pure oxygen then uh, non polluted environment then not only that healthy ecosystem which is more useful for peacefulness in our mind or the greenery will increases in our surrounding ecosystem so these are the broad uses of uh, um, biodiversity in human life we can say next nodi question number 12 list any two major causes other than the anthropogenic causes of the loss of biodiversity here to call other than anta heidare ಒಂದು ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬೆನ್ಸಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬೆನ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದಿದೆ ಮೆಟರಾಯ್ಟ್ ಹಿಟ್ ಮೆಟರಾಯ್ಟ್ ಹಿಟ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಲ್ಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಎರಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇವನ್ ಗ್ಲೇಷಿಯೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ವಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಇದ್ರು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ್ದು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನೋಡಿ ಗ್ಲೇಷಿಯೇಷನ್ಸ್ dissolving glaciations and a global warming global warming so idrindu kuda baharashtu species galu extinct aagta ide nowe days currently then aste alla uh, due to the it is predicted that due to the meteorite hit many species of a particular geographical region they are getting extinct they are facing the threat of extinction so these are the non anthropogenic causes for the loss of biodiversity anta helpothu the next what is an endangered species endangered means the species number a particular species number is very less in near future they are going to be extinct that we can say endangered species give an example of endangered plant and animal species endangered plant ke example nodi that is a particular species of orchids the particular species of orchids we can say they are the endangered animals list nodi idde adre okay we can say the animals uh, in this a particular species of leopard and thelbodu then uh, white tiger white tiger then giant panda then flying squirrel flying squirrel etc so these are the some important endangered species then what are the sacred groves and their role in biodiversity conservation sacred groves are nothing but the conservation of natural ecosystem conservation of forest area in the name of the god these are also referred as a pristine forest antanu helthivi kannadadalli helodadre devara kaadu antu helthivi 
conservation of forest area or natural ecosystem in the name of God. They are also known as pristine forest. In Canada, they are referred as a Devarakadu. These sacred grooves are most commonly seen in Western Ghat Belt of Karnataka and Maharashtra, then Meghalayan regions, then Chanda, Sarguja and Bastar regions of Madhya Pradesh, where these are very commonly seen. Usually, tribal peoples they know the uh, uh, tribal peoples know the uh, knowledge of these sacred areas, where the forest species, a natural species, were conserved without disturbing that area. That we can say they are these sacred groups. How they are conserved? Usually, they were worship the organisms at that particular area. Considered even now, kuda uh, see the. It is a sacred plant and theory. They were Hesarali Adana Kanzo Martivi. Ala the Mara. Okay, Adana Puja Martivi. It is also a sacred plant and theory. Cobra, how is it? Nagara, how? Adana Devar and Tapuja Martivi. Okay, Akalu. Devar on Tapuja Martivi. Like that, worshipping the organisms in the name of God without damaging them. So that we can say it is a sacred concept or sacred guru concept and theory. Sacred gurus and theory. Next question number 15 Nodi suggest a place where one can go to study coral reef, mangrove vegetation, and estuaries. Coral reef new India Delhi study Madhvekandra. It is better to visit Tamil Nadu, uh, coastal belt of Tamil Nadu. Okay. Tamil Nadu visit Madre Alina Namage, coastal belt of Tamil Nadu visit Madre, Namage coral reef Sigute. Mangrove vegetation node Bekandre visit to the uh, southern point, southwest Bengal, south point of South of West Bengal, WB enter Martha Idini. The next estuary study Madhve Kandre go to see the backwaters of Kerala. Backwaters of Kerala and Karnataka region. Backwater regions. Backwater region of Kerala and Karnataka. Along the coastal belt, okay, Kerala and Karnataka, the backwater region of, uh, along backwater region of Kerala and Karnataka along the coastal belt, okay. Alinim ke nodi se gote. The next, it is true that there is a more solar energy available in the tropics. Explain briefly. Ali solar energy hachi ke se gote because here the intensity of light or sunlight directly hit. To the that tropical region, these are directly intensity of light directly exposed to the tropics. Intensity of light direct direct to tropics, and here uh, even it due to the ref angle of refraction also. It is due to angle of refraction of light. The less angle of refraction of light. Angle of refraction. And the refraction. Okay. So because of that, the tropics will get the more and more sunlight. And due to that, the length of the day duration is very high in the tropic compared to the temperate region. And because of that, vegetation is also very high in the tropical region. Question number 17, Nodi, what is co-extinction? Explain with a suitable example. Co-extinction is nothing but if anyone, if there is a co-evolved species, co-evolved under what to evolve? Among them, if any one species is extinct, very soon the dependent other species will also get extinct. This is example, Nodi. Ex uh, examples for this. Considered, if the fish is extinct, if fish, if fish extinct, if the fish is extinct, then parasite on the fish, fish mele parasitic species is Okay. So, parasite on that fish is also get extinct. Parasite of fish, of fish also get extinct. Also get extinct. Or any predator organism which have fish as a staple food. If the fish is extinct, that predator organism also get extinct. 
the predator predator okay predator organism with fish as a staple food with fish as staple food that also get extinct andre illi fish extinct aadre a fish anne mukhya aahara vagi tinnuvanta animals idella adakke aahara da korate barutte adu kuda extinct aagi hogutte that we can say co extinction next nodana long answer type questions usually these are the five marks questions ide nodi illi elaborate how invasions by an alien species reduce the species diversity of an area henge usually these alien species idiyala these alien species for them there is a no natural predators no natural inhibitors a competitor no natural competitors natural competitors irodilla alli aa area dalli then no natural predators no natural predators natural predators illa natural competitors illa the next uh, as there is a no natural competitor there is a no natural predator or uh, the plant eating insect okay alli av insect illa then they grow very rapidly grow very rapidly by using the resources of other organisms ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಆ ಎಲ್ಲವನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ವೆರಿ ರ್ಯಾಪಿಡ್ಲಿ ಗ್ರೋ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಹಿಬಿಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ದೇ ಇನ್ಹಿಬಿಟ್ ದಿ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದರ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಹಿಬಿಟ್ ಇನ್ಹಿಬಿಟ್ ದಿ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಹಿಬಿಟ್ ದಿ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ So that's about the alien species in a invasion and tell about it. Here is an example new very bodu. One is introduction of carrot grass. Nothing but Parthenium and tell TV. Carrot grass in India. The next Lantana. That is a forest weed and tell TV. The next Icornia Terror of Bengal. Icornia. Then introduction of uh, the fishes in the lake victoria of east africa okay then uh, not only that the introduction of african catfish in the indian oceans in the fisheries uh, in means indian fisheries okay so these are causing uh, the problem to the local indigenous species the next one how can you as an individual prevent the loss of biodiversity individual lagi okay national forest wildlife sanctuary biodiversity hotspot these are in large scale national and international level all right but individual lagi how can you prevent the biodiversity loss anta heltidare how can you conserve the biodiversity adanna barebek individual lagi nimma contribution enu irutte so illi nodi idakke answer enide for me okay one is follow the 3r rule okay that is a reuse recycle and reduce ee rules follow madbeku reuse reduce and recycle you more points anna solpa explain madi okay enadru new things balasthira paper things agli enadru agli adanna reuse madi kelavondu non biodegradable uh, things idre adanna avugalu use madodanna reduce madi or if it is possible recycle them okay ಪದೇ ಪದೇ ಅದನ್ನ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅದು ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಗಿ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಪದೇ ಪದೇ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಬೇಡ ಅದನ್ನ ಟ್ರೈ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ರೀಸೈಕಲ್ ದಮ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಿ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಡೂ ದಿ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಶನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಶನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರೇಟ್ ದಿ ಎನ್ವಾರ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಡೇ and create a awareness among all the people surrounding to you nimma surrounding alli en jana idarala avaru ellarigu environmental day bage awareness create maadi plantations tree means reforestations entak beku adar bage idea ellaru heli go for the more and more reforestation and give the awareness of this one also especially for the school children 
ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಿ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಲಾಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಎ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಬಿಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಅನಾಲಜಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಪೌಲ್ ಎಲ್ರಿಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಇಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಪೌಲ್ ಎಲ್ರಿಚ್ ಹಿ ಗಿವನ್ ದಿ ರಿವೆಟ್ ಪಾಪರ್ ಹೈಪೋಥೆಸಿಸ್ ಹಿ ಗಿವನ್ ರಿವೆಟ್ ಪಾಪರ್ ಹೈಪೋಥೆಸಿಸ್ ರಿವೆಟ್ ಪಾಪರ್ ಹೈಪೋಥೆಸಿಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೀವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ what is this rivet popper hypothesis paul elrich he given this rivet popper hypothesis to explain the concept of biodiversity how this biodiversity is useful for us adanna explain madlikke one hypothesis kottidru in that rivets are nothing but these are the species rivets are nothing but and popper is nothing but he considered it as aeroplane means what he considered means uh, aeroplane itself according to him aeroplane itself is a one ecosystem how he, he compared aeroplane to the ecosystem okay aeroplane itself is a one ecosystem aeroplane one ecosystem ide rivets are nothing but nut bolt anta helthivi okay rivets andre nut bolts rivets itself means uh, popper itself is a one aeroplane or aeroplane itself is a one ecosystem aeroplane idella itself is a one ecosystem ide ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ರಿವೆಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಟ್ ಬೋಲ್ಟ್ ಇರ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅಥವಾ ಎಂಜಿನ್ಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಟ್ ಬೋಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ರಿವೆಟ್ಸ್ ರಿವೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಏರೋಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಒಂದು ಇಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇದೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಟ್ ಬೋಲ್ಟ್ ಇದೆ ಅವು ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದ್ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಇಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಇದೆ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ತರದ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಇದೆ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಮೇನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಏನ್ ಕೂಡ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯೇ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ರಿವೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಪಬ್ಲಿಯ ಕೂ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಕೂಡ್ ಕೂಡ್ರುವಂತ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆಗಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿರುವ ಆಸನಗಳು ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯ ಚೇರ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ರಿವೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಾಜಿಸ್ ಎನಿ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಟು ದಿ ಇಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ರಿವೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಾಜಿಸ್ ಎನಿ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಟು ದಿ ಏರೋಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ರಿವೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ಡ್ ಏರೋಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಗೆ ವಿಂಗ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ವಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮೇನ್ ಎಂಜಿನ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಆ ವಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡುವ ರಿವೆಟ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಮೇನ್ ರಿವೆಟ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ವಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮೇನ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಅನ್ನ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡುವ ರಿವೆಟ್ಸ್ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅವುಗಳನ್ನ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಇಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಪರ್ಮನೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ನಟ್ ಬೋಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ತೆಗೆದು ಹಾಕಿದ್ರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏರೋಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಫ್ಲೈ ಏ ಮಾಡೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಟೇಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ಇಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ರಿವೆಟ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅವುಗಳನ್ನ ಕೀ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳೋಣ if the keys keystone species were removed then ultimately it will permanently damage the ecosystem so that's about uh, in this way the paul elrich explained about the uh, concept of biodiversity and therefore he mentioned that if there is a more diversity along with the keystone species then uh, the, uh, that ecosystem will be more stable yeah diversity will be more stable in that ecosystem anta helthivi fourth question nodi though the conflict between the human and wildlife started with the evolution of man the intensity of conflict has increased due to the activities of modern man justify your answer with the suitable example human animal conflict bagge baribekagide human animal conflict ide alla iden hosadalla munchi indalu human animal conflict ide but nowadays its number is increasing again and again ಇದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಸ್ತಿನೇ ಆಗಿದೆ ಪದೇ ಪದೇ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಲೆಪರ್ಡ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಎ ಟ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಎಂಟರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕಾಮನ್ ಇನ್ ಇವನ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಸಿಟಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಸೊ
So there you can give the examples of leopard which is entered into the Bangalore city or the again and again the group of ele uh, elephants they enter into the villages of Hasana and Chikmagalur. You can give that example here. Okay. Then what is, uh, what is an ecosystem service? The product we get or service we get from the ecosystem or product we get from the ecosystem that we can see ecosystem service and LTV. List any four important ecosystem services. The important ecosystem services. One is uh, clean air or non-polluted environment, clean water, then not only that, uh, pollination of crop plants, then formation of soil. Okay. So these are for formation of soil. So these are the some important ecosystem services or recycling of nutrients, maintenance of wildlife. All these are the best example for ecosystem services. Then next to that, uh, now are you in favor or against laying, uh, laying charge on the service provided by the ecosystem? Okay. So, the ecosystem in the end service barthala, they can have charge pay marbeka. Idu So, actually, these ecosystem uh, services, there is an, we no need to pay the charges for these ecosystem services. Adeke how the charges sirbardu. But, whatever the ecosystem we are using, now when ecosystem services and use marti deola, other cost yesterday and other knowledge namagirabeku. Each and every human being should know the cost value of that ecosystem service. With that, what happens? At least, if that particular cost for that particular ecosystem, that whatever the clean air in the form of oxygen we get, or the pollination is made for our crop plants, or whatever the clean water we are getting, whatever the soil formation taking place in and around us, whatever the rainfall is getting, whatever the greenery is maintained around us, to maintain all these things naturally, what will be the cost occurs. If that knowledge we have, our knowledge namala yidre, other bagya vandu awareness arata. We feel awareness ourselves and we have to convey all the public surrounding us about this ecosystem services. So with that, each and every individual should take the responsibility to conserve these biodiversities. So, Adakagi, the first time, yeah, American scientist Robert Constanza, he given a prize tag for these ecosystem services. Our just a prize tag, quite true. But Adakke payment maadbe ko anta ru alilla. But Adakke knowledge namagir beko. So, our awareness namalli yidre, ultimately, we will try to conserve the forest. So, that's about the ecosystem services. Next, Describe the uh, consumptive use value of biodiversity as food, drug, medicine, fuel, and fiber with suitable examples. Okay. Uh, most of the plants from the forest directly we use as a food. Okay. Me most of the fruits, yeah, plant parts directly we use as a uh, food without paying any charge for that ecosystem services. Many drugs. 25% of drugs or medicines, they will directly come from the forest product only. More than 25,000 plant species were used in Ayurvedic medicines as a, as a medicinal value. So, they are used as a drug and we are not paying any charge for that. Next to that, many medicines, okay, drugs, then uh, even we can say alkaloids also. Then even many or even many organic acids, organic compounds, we get directly from the forest product. That comes under the medicine only. Then fuel. Still date, till date, to if you move toward the village side, the many peoples use these forest wood as a firewood. Forest wood dela, cardinal katigali dela. Innu kura hali garali, augarana firewood dagi. Wale garali. So, that is also a forest product only or na natural resource. That is also a, it is a, uh, a service given, by, given to us by the uh, biodiversity or forest. And for that also we are not paying any charge. Then fiber, most of these plant products, they are used as a source of fiber for manufacturing paper, a pulp in pulp industry. Okay. 
so these are main source of fibers or even in even textile industries also we use this without paying any charge for that we are using all these sources freely okay so that's about the uh, this uh, so it means uh, we can say consumptive use of this biodiversity products anta helpodu species diversity decreases as we move from equator to equator to, to toward the pole what could be the possible reason if i consider here there is one particular person is present and this is the equatorial region zero degree equatorial region is usually in the equatorial regions maximum intensity of light is present due to that there is a more rain, uh, there is more rain and less disturbed uh, ecosystem and uh, we can say more plant species are present along with the insect species in the equatorial region then uh, because of that animal diversity is also very high but as one move from this equator to toward the polar region either it may be north pole or south pole what will happens light intensity will goes on decreases rainfall or we can say precipitation value will also goes on decreases precipitation value will also goes on decreases as the precipitation value will also goes on decreases then plant species number will also go the decreases and temperature variation also goes on decrease very varies temperature also goes on varies or temperature will goes on decreases so ultimately plant species diversity will decreases the dependent animal species diversity also goes on decreases that's the main reason here next explain briefly the rivet popper hypothesis of paul elrich again okay, just now we'll discuss my idea wala that is paul elrich rivet popper hypothesis aeroplane matte rivets keystone species and normal species matte aeroplane compare my idea wala adhe concept anna new matte ee question gu bari bekagida the relation between the species richness and area for wide variety of taxa turns out to be rectangular hyperbola give brief explanation ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬಾ ಅಲೆಕ್ಸಾಂಡರ್ ವಾನ್ ಹಂಬೋಲ್ಟ್ ಆ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನು ಬರೀಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಸ್ಪೀಸೀಸ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಅಲೆಕ್ಸಾಂಡರ್ ವಾನ್ ಹಂಬೋಲ್ಟ್ ಅಲೆಕ್ಸಾಂಡರ್ ವಾನ್ ಹಂಬೋಲ್ಟ್ ಆ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೀವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಗ್ರಾಫಿಕಲ್ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಶನ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ರೆಕ್ಟಾಂಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಹೈಪರ್ ಬೋಲಾ ಕರು ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಲಾಗ್ ಸ್ಕೇಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಇಂಟೆಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಕೇಲ್ ಆ ಎರಡು ಕೂಡ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನೀವು ಇದನ್ನ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಮಿತ್ರರೇ ಇದರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ವೇಶನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಗಿತಾ ಇದೆ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ನೀಟ್ ಆಗಿ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೇ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಬರೋದಿದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೆ ಜೈ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಜೈ ಭಾರತ್ ಮಾತೆ